What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Sorry if I still have a little bit of eyeliner and my beard painted and everything. It's because it was Halloween yesterday and I dressed up as a pirate so I was all glammed up and everything. That's why everything still, I wasn't able to remove all of it. But anyways, back to the hood. Uh, we're ready to wrap. So we took like two weeks in preparing this whole hood and it's finally ready to wrap. Everything is nice and perfect. It's probably gonna be one of the hardest pieces to wrap, like I said in the past, because we have a bunch of dimensions. We have this one here, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. It's not a flat piece at all. I've never wrapped something this complicated, so this is gonna be my first time. It is an aggressive bend right here. Super aggressive, so. Um, wish me luck. But this is the before. And then hopefully we get the after. So I'm gonna start off by grabbing our knifeless tape, just running it on the inside of this, and then on the outside of this right here. And that's pretty much gonna take care of our piece here. And then after that, we can go ahead and tack cloth everything, alcohol wipe it, and get it ready to wrap. So let's get started with the knifeless tape. All right, like I said, this is one of the hardest pieces I've ever had to wrap. Wish me luck. I cut it down to 80. So hopefully, got plenty of room everywhere.
All right, guys, we're halfway done already. So far, so good. Um, I haven't had any issues so far, but um, it is a lot more work, to be honest. We got half of it done already. So far, no glue lines, no discoloration anywhere. Everything looks so good. It is kind of warm outside, so it's making it a little bit more difficult because everything wants to crinkle up on me. I gotta do this side real quick before I get glue lines but you guys can see pretty much how it's looking once we cut this part off you you'll be able to see like the finished product so this side shouldn't take me too long since we already kind of got the feel it's hard because I have to pretty much uh, feed the vinyl in here I don't want to stretch it in I probably can honestly with uh, Avery and Denison it's pretty easy to stretch in but because it's primer down here I'm kind of afraid of it just popping up and I don't want a big air bubble right here especially not on this hood you'll be able to tell right away so I'm gonna go ahead and continue on that side and finish it up but that's what we have so far Alright guys, this is pretty much wrapped already. Mission accomplished. I'm just gonna go ahead and post heat it and trim everything out. We have a lot of excess film. But I'm gonna open up the hood and trim it from the bottom side. But that's what we got so far. <sighs> Tough work, man. I'm gonna finish all this and then the last piece is gonna be that little grill insert that goes on top of the hood. But there we have it. So let me go ahead and remove the rest of the knifeless tape area. All that stuff. And I'll catch you guys when it's all done. Alright, when you guys wrap your hoods, make sure that all your trimming is nicely... Is nicely neat, just like I did on mine. Ignore the, the hood right now. It's really filthy. But so is the engine base. I'm going to have to make a day where I can just go ahead and clean out all this stuff because uh, the whole time I was sanding and everything on the hood, this was uncovered and we got a bunch of mess in here. So maybe I'll do a detailed video of how to detail your uh, engine bay. But for now, I'm just going to show you like exactly how you want it. No lifting or anything. So we still have to... 
go ahead and finish trimming this area here and the back side here. I had already done a little uh, inlay back here. So all we gotta do now is just trim maybe like a eighth of an inch to overlap so we have no, uh, no exposure of the color. But there we have it, look at that. I need to clean it still because we have our oily fingers all over it. Damn. It already looks like it already has a trim. I went above and beyond and wrapped this part even though you're not going to be able to see it. But we still have to add that little trim that goes right here. And then like I said, um, finish trimming this back piece and this. And Pretty much done. Then we're gonna have to uh, buff these areas out here to get them nice and glossy. But for now, it's looking nice and clean. You can't even tell where the little louvers were right here. We're done. I love the clean look of it. I'm glad I decided to cover those up because otherwise if I had them here it would have been too much going on with the with the hood. Look at that. I can't wait to have this part all glossy so it can have a, a little accent piece right there. So let me go ahead and finish uh, trimming the areas right there. I'll show you the after of the total hood and then we'll go ahead and wrap this little piece real quick. All right, everything's all post heated, all trimmed up. So we just need that little trim. And I think that's the last thing we have to wrap on the truck as far as the outside, which I'm kind of glad, man. It's honestly taken me like uh, almost two months, I want to say. Um, and that's only because again, there's a lot of stuff that I needed to do on my truck like take the wrap off and Then do a lot of body work on the hood That's probably what took me the longest to do the hood but Look at those results They speak for themselves Yeah, it's kind of a little bit dirty You guys get the point All right, let me go ahead and Do the trim real quick and I'll be all done all right guys, last piece of the puzzle. I'm so happy. Last piece. And it looks like it's gonna be the easiest. I hope. I can I really benedict it to you? All of my attention I've been giving to you. Caught up in my feelings, I got feelings for you. Caught up in my feelings, I got feelings for you. On my mind, I can't lie. On my mind, I can't lie. Pull you down to your drive. I've been living wild, I'm just going through the motions Stumbling out the Uber, grab my hand, gave me a notion Swimming in your water, but it feels just like the ocean I can lie, I've really been addicted to you All of my attention I've been giving to you Caught up in my feelings, I got feelings for you Caught up in my feelings, I got feelings for you On my mind, I can't lie She's all finished now. <sighs> Look how clean looks. Hit up Street Concepts, man, for this awesome hood. Definitely, definitely changed the look of the truck. Instead of going with just like a regular HD. And 
The only thing next I have to do is change the wheels. Uh, I did put a poll on my Instagram. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with some like Cosme's racing wheels. So I put these right here and the, so let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. Um, in my Instagram, it was pretty much 50-50. Here, comment down below. This is gonna be number one. This one's gonna be number two. So comment down one or two, which one you guys think would look better. Um, I can go for either one of them. I don't wanna go with like some intros or anything. I'm not gonna go for that big wheel look. I wanna go more of like the, the racing. We're gonna start taking this truck to, to shows and we're gonna start racing it more. So, so that's the thing we're gonna be doing with this truck. So um, maybe in the future, I think I wanna get like a SS clone or something and soup that one up for more like show. But this one definitely is gonna be just a just pure race truck. Um, so let me know what do you guys think. Or should we do something else like some welds? But I think uh, if I go with some 22s and Cosmes with like a nice uh, thick tire, I think it look nice. Because we at the end of the day, this is the only truck we have right now, so we want it to look nice also, which is why we wrapped it and everything. So just let me know what you guys think. But the outside's pretty much done. There's always little details to do. Like I said, I still have to polish these little things here. Get them nice and glossy. And then this side's already wrapped in here. Let's see what else we need to do around the truck. Our lights are done. We need to give it a quick wash. This thing's dirty. So like I said, we still need the wheels interior. And once we get our wheels, we're gonna be switching out the calipers to that color that I said and also maybe some accents here and there. I'm still indecisive of either doing the red or the green, so let me know below what you guys think. Um, I kind of want to do that lime green, highlighter yellow, whatever color that is, because I feel like there's already a lot of red ones. Um, but we'll see, we'll see what we do. In the meantime, like I said, enjoy the truck look for now. You know what, and I also forgot, I, I said I was gonna do these in black. So I'll leave that for the next vlog. I'll do these, a strip right here in black. Cause I feel like that orange kinda kills it. Yeah. But that's gonna be it for this video guys. Make sure you guys subscribe if you guys haven't subscribed. Make sure to check out the website, cop your merch, support the channel. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram if you guys haven't followed me on Instagram. And tune in for the next one. Is the fridge, sound wave for like more than the clicks. Cow up on the shirt that work for my shit. Ayy, wait. Being gritty, don't pity, they fool thing with me. Been real, fuck trending, I'm hype, I'm litty. Been this since scrimmage, don't play game with me. I really these hits like I play tennis. I drink this shit, nah, I never don't pitch. I live here at the top of the titty, said I run this shit. How I try to with the pizza,